Hello guys, welcome to another brand new Let's Play and a game that um, arguably is probably one of the greatest games um, ever. Um, I've heard people say to me, how have you not played the original game? Well, I never really played it. I have played this game very briefly, couldn't really get to grips with it, found it very difficult. But I did play the, not the new one that's coming out, but I'm sure that one I did play. And I enjoyed it, I thought it was a good game. Um, I like the fact that it was a bit sneaky, the action, all that kind of thing in. And it really gave um, them. So, this is um, the SX, the uh, Game of the Year edition of Steam. Um, and I'm going to do training because I, I can't do the controls at all. I uh, can't record this with my actual original sort of uh, recording software, it just doesn't let me do it. Uh, action, so I'm using Fraps. Um, and it's recording in 60 frames per second. I mean, that for a game like this, that is brilliant. So let's just have a look and see what we can do here. I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. <laughs> Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. The key on the desk opens encryption-based nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. You're going to get a lot of equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. Now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find useful. I'm already ahead of you. Now pick up the lockpick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. Okay, just so you guys know, I have played through this training section before. So I know this part of the game, but just from the first sort of level, I don't know at all. I don't know. Doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage a door takes before being destroyed. The lock strength tells you how many lock picks will be required to pick the lock. Some doors have an infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That means you have to find a key. The code to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read the contents, then type the code into the keypad. You activate the keypad with the right mouse button, just like you activate a data cube or any object in the world. Use the disposable multi-tools on the table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi-tools resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi-tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device. If you guys want to read that if you're on leisure, then feel free, I'm just reading it in my head. Okay, I'll read it out loud. A multi-tool is not really a tool at all. Not the, in the usual sense of the word. But a disposable electrical electronic device utilizes electromagnetic resources detection and frequency modulation to dynamic after the flow of a current th through almost any non hounded circuitry. Skill agents can use multi tools to manipulate lock codes, cameras, auto guns, and turrets, alarms, or other security elements. Blah, blah. Uh, multi tools cannot be used for computer information construction, so you can see section 5A hacking. Almost done, but, a quick, but one quick note I'm not exactly an 
the expert on this sort of thing. So that you'll have to check with Sam Carter. When you go to the library, get to the island, but remember that there's, an, any, that there's any number of ways to open the door, including using explosive or finding a security computer, Jamie. Pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. Last time we sent you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and find the exit on the other side. Just press F12 by default. Well, I'm changing that immediately. So we'll just leave it for now. You're not a mech, but you're enough of a machine to need repair bots now and then. If you used up some bioelectric energy getting through the dark area, for example, this contraption can charge you back up. to your location. Jump across the platforms. You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. If you fall, use these stairs to begin again. are too big to jump and too heavy to lift, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. To pick up a crate, walk up to it so that it highlights, then click the right mouse button. To drop something you're holding, you can press the tab key by default. Contaminated. 
recruits forget to grab the hazmat suit and end up in my office. Not pretty. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. Remember that the hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once, and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the pool to climb out. help to install new augmentations. If you took any damage during the swim, now's a good time to get patched up. In your equipment. That's right. No cheating. I didn't have any equipment on me. So fuck you. Welcome to the combat training area. I am Gunther Herman, and I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. will become. Release the second target and aim before shooting this time. How did you do it? I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I even remember what he said. Um. Area. 
up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Andy. This is a rifle range. Here, you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the scope on. Bracket key. Excellent. Now we are going to raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Good work. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. I love this guy. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. I wasn't gonna cheat, also. This is the demolitions training area. First you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. <laughs> Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamb. Lambs placed on the walls are proximity triggered. from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. Get as close to the wall as possible when you place the lamb. If you aren't close enough, the lamb will fall to the ground and detonate. lamps for the demolitions area. Here, catch! Next you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamp down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Remember this for future reference. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall. You can also breach with a lamb. Try that now. Already done it, mate. <laughs> Excellent. Notice that the wall is opened. Look for other weakened walls, such as this, and your lamb and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. At each of the 
corners of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly and defuse it by right clicking. A second right click will remove the lamp from the wall. A word of warning, Agent Denton. This was a simulated experience. Real lamps will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. Hand in your equipment. That's right. No cheating.
Don't let the guards see you. Stay crouched, stay behind the crates, and stay behind the guards. when we are facing a real enemy. Whoa! That is harsh! Now for the last test. You have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get through. Oh, 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 oh. This gets you to use. It's up to you. Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. The crosshairs will highlight oh. red over enemies, green over allies, and white over neutrals. Careful around this TNT. You can pick up the boxes and move them around, but crouch to set them down. I don't want to have to reattach your arms. Basically, half a body. Oh. oh shit, he's still shooting me. Is that basically what I am at the moment? Really? I'm just like a body, like walking along the road. Step up to each hologram for more info. When you're through, go out the opposite door. NSF, the biggest terrorist threat in the U.S. This national militia group thinks it is fighting the second American Revolution. A deployment of UNATCO troopers is the central component of all UN peacekeeping occupations.
This page industry's walking turret, marketed to governments worldwide, is the workhorse of most national military forces. Due to the heavy armor, they take little damage from ordinary bullets. If you come up against a bot, you should use an EMP grenade, scrambler grenade, or some kind of explosive. I'm, I'm not pretty sure of this. An inexpensive security bot. A favorite of third world countries and corporate security divisions. Not so mobile, but don't be fooled. We've lost plenty of agents to its well-armored assault gun. Like other bots, it's difficult to damage with ordinary bullets. The Coalition's new nano-augmented agents are nearly indistinguishable from the general population, except that you and your brother don't know how to smile, even for a picture. This is the old augmentation technology, hopefully about to be phased out. Notice the reliance on electronics and servo mechanics, a maintenance nightmare. If I had two credits for every repair manual they made me file in my office in the med lab, Sufficiently impressive, and early success for the whole organization. Thanks. You from the United Nations? Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. Yes. Yes, you are. done it even though I stopped at the end all right guys that's it that's the training done never actually finished it before and real <laughs> insight into actually how the game is gonna go so yeah that's that so next up will be the actual game so thank you very much for watching guys I'll see you next time ta-ta